All right, we just, well, a few weeks ago we finished this. We haven't got a chance. But this weekend, so within a few days, you think we could, I think we'll uh, take her out back and we'll do some shooting. This is our uh, Mac potato gun. Just made it. A three inch valve. And I got a truck valve on here. I don't know if a lot of people know about these, but you push it through from the inside and you bolt it on. Seals it better. Um, I got, you know, a tire gauge. I got a PSI gauge right here, but um, haven't used it yet because I still got to put it on my other end cap. Um, basically, is what happens for those that don't know. Um, this is off position. This is on position. Um, fill it up with air with an air compressor with a tire valve extension or you can use a bike, bike pump. With a bike pump it gets pretty hard about after 70 psi would you say Sean? Uh, 60. 60 psi? Alright. You start feeling it really good. That's when you yeah, start starts getting tough. But you fill this up 60 psi. We've gotten up to 100 and um, it shoots very well but uh, let's see. Three inch, uh, three inch to one and a half inch. I was gonna put my PSI gauge right here, but I didn't have one at the time, so I just sealed it off. Um, elbow, and then right here, just got a 400 PSI half inch ball valve, part screws, and a half inch to uh, inch and a half bushing. Comes up, and I got my uh, two inch female adapter, just like I do on my combustion gun. So I can use all these different barrels, you know. It's quite worth it. I got half inch, one inch, one and a half inch, two inch. Working on my three inch and working on my three quarter inch. Um, it works great. Um, on right, my next one, I'm going to have my ball valve. The next two, I'm going to have a blow valve. So I can just release a certain amount of air. Because when you're shooting the small things and you want up to 60 p or 100 PSI, you can, uh, you want the power behind it, but you don't need all this air necessarily. All this air might be good for a few shots. When you twist this, it lets all the air out. So, um, it, it works great if you twist it fast enough. Um, we got a barn back there about 300 yards away. Probably won't look good throughout the camera. We can hit it pretty easily. Um, but I'm going to make that blow gun for just shooting smaller things. So, just for, so I uh, have it come down here and use it like a trigger, but, um, uh, Still working on my brace that'll go right here. Um, that'll be perfect, and I can just go like this, shoot it. Um, you can actually hear it when the air comes out. It's not loud like a combustion, but it's like not even any psi, I guess. But and you can just hear that. Um, and when you put one of the barrels on, just put a two-inch male adapter on each one. Get her gun tight. My problem is, this is not PVC sealed. So if this twists, don't untwist it. Because then you lose your Teflon. You, you lose your seal. But you want to use Teflon tape on. You can't do a demonstration right now because it's freezing. I'm about to go snowboarding. Oh. We showed this one uh, last time, I think. Well, it's basically my uh, combustion on, but it has a two inch female. So I don't have to buy a new barrel to use this. I just, you know, screw it on right there. But this one works great too. Pen cap right here, just like wrapping the stuff you tape because it's fun. Um, that's about it. And we will have a video very shortly. This is a pneumatic potato gun. That's a ball valve, yeah, I know. We're gonna fix that because it's not permanently in there. Um, two inch female adapter right here. So we got interchangeable barrels. We got half inch, three quarter, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Um, I have a PSI gauge on that right now, but I have it downstairs. And uh, we just filled up our tank, and right now with the air compressor, with a tire valve. We're at about 45 to 50 PSI. Um, this is a truck valve. 
Meaning uh, you push it through from the inside, then you bolt it down on top of it so it's a whole lot safer and better, you know? And then, uh, what did we load it with? Oh, gumball. Gumball? Do we have any apple? No. Oh, okay. Or yeah, yeah, there's apple yeah, down there. Yeah, that's what I thought, there's a little bit of apple. So right now, we're going to go shoot it outside because my mom would get mad if we're inside the house. And it's really cold out. Where are we going to shoot John? I don't know. I'll hit the barn. The camper first. Make sure we got good aim. And we hit it. Or you can use the air compressor. Have the air compressor all the way up. You have with this. 120? Let's I go up 120. Outside, so I get to shoot it again because I always get first shot anyway. But uh, after this we've just filled it up to 110, 115 around there. Yeah. So we're around there. Um, we got an apple with four marbles in it. Yeah. Um, and then we also uh, took the barrel up to an inch. Yep. This is now an inch barrel. And on all of our barrels is what we do. We kind of grind it right here so it's easier to cut apples or potatoes or whatever it is you're going to shoot. So, we're going to go do that. I think we're going to go for the barn, right? Yeah, the barn. Okay. That look good? Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? We hit the barn. We hit the Let's barn. Go. So we just hit the barn. It was pretty cool. Um, you saw, did they see the shooting part when all the stuff come out? I don't know. All right. Well, if you didn't see it, first thing you saw was the apples, and it kind of exploded, which was one chunk of apple, but exploded. They kind of went off about four or five different pieces, 30 to 40 yards out. That pretty much broke. Well, it's hard to see the marbles because they're probably flying, I don't know, over 150 miles an hour around there. Ready? Unless you can see that. Whenever you want. 